Welcome to another UI UX workshop where I take a little time to make three designs just a tad bit better, at least hopefully. Hey everybody, what's up? Gary Simon here. So I wanna show you the three entries that I'm going to improve in some way in terms of the UI and the UX. Some of it is just perhaps UI, some of it is UX as well, it's a mixture. And I'll go ahead and show you the three designs that we're gonna be focusing on. So the first one is wt.social and this is actually from the founder of Wikipedia, Jimmy Wales. All right, so it's gonna be, kind of be like our feature one that uh, I try to revamp a little bit, it's brand new. The next one is Simple Cloudware from Discord user Cloud. And the final one here is from Cosmic Senpai. All right, as always, make sure to subscribe if you enjoy this and let's get started. Before we begin though, Linode, the sponsor of this video, makes it easy to host your site, your app, or service on whatever technology stack you use. With one-click apps like WordPress and Drupal, getting up and running is easy. With back-end access to your server, customization options are all but limitless. A fully configurable DNS manager allows for you to easily switch your domain over to your new server, and SSL certificates can be installed for free using open source tools. So sign up using the link below to get $20 in credit on your new Linode account. The first entry is a new social network onboarding screen from the founder of Wikipedia. Upon first glance, it's really hard to know where I should be looking, and from a UX perspective, I'd like more guidance rather than having this big wall of tiles suggesting me the most insane random topics to choose from. So let's address that primary concern among a few other areas. Now first off, I'm recreating the navigation and the logo area. I'm not a big fan of the really tiny slogan underneath the logo from the original, so I'm simplifying that to just include the word mark. Now, next up, I decided to extend the entire nav bar down to really bring the user's focus towards a large search bar, which will help the user narrow in on what interests them the most, instead of just showing a large wall of unrelated topics. Now, they had a headline, Welcome to Wiki Tribune, which I thought was unnecessary, but I'm keeping the sub headline and centering aligning it beneath the primary call to action. Now next, I'm largely keeping the card designs the same, but I'm doing two things different. I'm not including the borders because those just end up cluttering the design and I'm not placing them so close together, as you'll see here in a second. The previous version was just too difficult to track, so more white space should definitely help. Next up is from Discord user Cloud, and the main concern I have here is there's a lot of text with little white space and overly large icons. So let's see if we can improve this. Here I'm recreating the navigation, and the one thing that's making this layout appear quite blocky is having an off-white nav bar, then a blue hero section, and then a white background for the content. The navigation was set up a little bit strange as well, with the primary nav right next to the logo and a login button right aligned. So I chose a more traditional approach. And instead of a gradient background, as you see here in a second, I choose a uh, watermark with a relevant photo. Now here, you're gonna see me experiment with the hero section. I wasn't liking just having a plain headline and sub headline without a call to action of some sort. So here is just kind of a play on that. Now here in a second, I try to shift focus here to the content area, but unfortunately I still just wasn't happy with that hero section. So I came up with an idea to visually depict what the headline was stating, starting a project with half the code completed. So I thought I would uh, show it as a progress bar, kind of as like an illustration that animates to make the design more interesting. Now, next, I decided to put each of the three features inside of cards with a large soft shadow to help distinguish the white cards from the white background. The biggest issue with their icons was they were way too large, so I'm shrinking those down big time. And I would also recommend not using 3D perspective icons like this because they just kind of feel a little bit too cheap. I'd stick with something more simplistic like outline icons or something like that if this were my own project. And then next up for the fun of it, I decided to create a quick animation prototype for the hero section when a person first visits the site. Now, admittedly, I would have liked more time to improve on what I created, but overall, I think it's a definite improvement. 
Next up is from Discord user Cosmic Senpai, and this is just a page about Gandhi, and I thought the cards at the top were rather boring, so that's the part I wanted to focus on with this redesign. So initially I had an idea to go into Photoshop to modify some pictures so that text could go to the left or right, but I actually ended up scrapping this idea. Instead, I decided I wouldn't use cards for this because contextually these are important parts of Gandhi's life. They represent three areas of who he is, so I decided to designate a large area using his pictures as watermarks with a headline and subheadline within. So here, I'm using Adobe XD's Repeat Grid tool to replicate two more variations, but it became obvious to me that having three different photographs in these sections like this might be a bit difficult and jarring as you're scrolling. So instead, I decided to make each of these span 100% of the device viewport height and allow a user to scroll between each three. And I also prototype this to show it in action. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that and you learned something new. If you agreed with me or you disagreed on any of them, let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe once again, and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.